Ladies and gentlemen, I present for your consideration the Hypermaxed Claymore. A beauty in every way. Completely maxed out. High Mira 5, doing so much damage it is mind-boggling. And for only the low, low price of 3 billion coins, you can have this. Oh, and did I mention the Magic Find? The Magic Find is insane. Rivaling even that of the Daedalus Axe. Yeah, funny go bird. Why? I am better than you. That's right, today we will be spending 3 billion coins on Magic Find. It is time to waste some money. A lot of money. As you can see, I'm uh, prepping for something pretty big, since, well, I have a three-bill purse. And what are we gonna spend it all on? Uh, magic find. Yeah. Now, luckily, I ended up waiting until Diana was in office to do this, so I don't have to spend quite as much. Also, this Diana, I ended up dropping two beautiful Chimera books, one of which I did not record, but the other one... All right, and now we just kill it, and do we get Chimera? Come, come back here, come back here. Yo! <laughs> I got Chimera. Oh, that was, so nice. That's was crazy. Yeah. Anyway, I think we should just go ahead and just buy it. I, I I don't feel like waiting. I need to get this on my day axe. I need to get magic find. This day axe is awful, but it's it's about to get a whole lot better. A whole, whole lot better. So just, eh, we go to the bazaar. We go, we search up Chimera. We click enter. Chimera 1. I'm not even gonna bother buy ordering. I just want this. I want this as soon as possible. We're gonna need 14 Chimera 1s for 1.7. 7 billion coins. Wait, no, hold on, hold on. That doesn't seem right. It, it was 1.6 bill like five seconds ago. Hold on, let me, let me do a little bit of digging. Let me do a little bit of digging. Wait, did prices go up again? No, wait. God, uh, someone just insta bought them while I was setting up the recording. Oh, am I that unlucky? No, I'm that unlucky. Okay, you know what? You know what? Okay, I'm just gonna buy order it. I'm gonna just hope this fills. Chimera, 1.5 billion coins. If that fills, great. If not, I may be in for a world of hurt. So I actually just reinstalled a mod in order to help me do bizarre stuff. And one of my Chimeras filled. This is gonna take a while, but I, I I think we can do this. It's Diana. People are gonna be into selling them. Just claim that. And we put in a buy order for another 13. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I just started panicking because I only had 1.4 bill in my purse. Uh, I, I, I forgot to, I forgot, I forgot to cancel that order. Okay, anyway, after that mild heart attack, now we put in a uh, buy order for uh, 13. After this, I began to do some Diana while waiting for my buy order to fill. And I had some fun with it. Dude, there's actually no way I just did this. Okay, okay, let me let me explain something. So as you can see, in through Zen quiz, I got a waypoint right here. Uh, if I look at my inventory, Chimera. I, I killed an Inquisitor. 230% magic find. Enchanted book. Just look at that. Okay, well that is... Yeah, that's my third Chimera this event. Uh, okay, I guess that's uh, 100 mil less that I don't have to spend. Cool. White literally does it while waiting for the buy order to fill. I'm a little RNG carried. Before I continue doing funny things with books, I'm trying to hit 30k by the end of the year, and I am rapidly approaching 20,000 subscribers. So if I can somehow manage to break that number with this video, I will be giving away 500 million coins. I know, kind of a big goal, like it's an, it's an extra 2.5 thousand subscribers off a single video, but I, I mean, bribery. And I will give away 250 mil in my Discord and 250 mil in the comment section right here. So don't forget to join my Discord and comment your IGN. I'll be giving this video a week and a half in order to reach that goal. Uh, so smash red button right now. Uh, anyway, that's it. Back to wasting money. So it's been about two hours, and this entire time I've just been doing a little bit of Diana. And what well, would you look at that? My buy order for a Chimera has uh, actually filled. So as you can tell, I am down to a 1.5 bill purse, but I have in this backpack here 16 Chimera 1 books. So we're gonna grab all of these, and oh goodness, okay, this is a really, really expensive inventory right here. Oh wow, would you just look at that? We're gonna go to the anvil and being super careful, we get a Chimera 2, another Chimera 2, a third one one, a fourth one, a fifth one, sixth, seventh, and an eighth. Well, now we do a little bit more combining, get a Kime 3, Kime 4, wait, no, not Kime 4, another Kime 3. I don't know, I don't know what I'm on about. A third Kime 3, and a fourth Kime 3. Uh, now we're into the big stuff, so we get a Kime 4, another Kime 4, and the big one. We go ahead, and we will be making, warning, this will remove Chimera? What? I don't know, but we get a Chimera 5. Oh, that looks so hot. I'm just gonna take a screenshot of that. I now have the most expensive ultimate enchant in the game, I think. Wait, no. A habanero tactics, maybe more. I've got a really expensive ultimate enchant. But now if we take this day axe right here, and this chimera, we can go slash AV, and we will be putting chimera 
a five on this Daedalus Axe. Oh, this is gonna be a really expensive click, but uh, there we go. Okay, I did it, I did it. Oh, that looks so hot. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, okay, I need, I need to do a little bit of testing, a little bit of testing. This isn't the last thing I'm gonna put on here, but I need to test. So if I put on Sorrow, and I guess we go up to a Hub Zombie, we also got my Rift Necklace on, and we can go do that, uh, do it again, until eventually we get a drop. Oh, okay, that's a decent chunk of magic find. 277% magic find. Yeah, yeah just a little bit. Anyway, we need to get this axe a little bit more maxed out. So funny story, uh, this axe already has looting 5 on it, which if I go look over here, we look at looting 5, yeah, that's gonna save me 218 mil. The reason it has looting 5 already? Because I was bored one morning doing Blaze Slayer. That is quite literally it, I was just bored. But we are missing a little bit of stuff that could give us some more magic find. Uh, namely, if we come down here, we are missing Divine Gift. Yeah, it didn't take me like 4 tries to work over here, but yeah. If I finally use my regalia, we can buy a couple divine gifts. So that's gonna be one for 25 mil, two, three, and can I buy more? Oh, I can. Okay, so that'll be four. How many am I able to buy? Okay, I'm able to buy four at the most, but I think this caps out at divine gift three. So if we go into the anvil, we get ourselves a divine gift two, a divine gift two again, and divine gift three, which that will grant us plus six magic finds. For 100 mil, that's pretty worth it. Go into the anvil again, and this will be a, another little bit of magic find that we have. So if I equip my Sorrow again, uh, make sure my G-Drag's on, we are sitting at a base 266 magic find. And that's not calculating looting, since looting is hidden magic find. I got a lot of magic find, but we should be able to get this even higher, hopefully. Although I do believe that actually is all the magic find that I can get from this Daedalus Axe. As crazy as it seems, I think I'm pretty sure there's only three enchants that I actually get magic find on this. Anyways, I'm pretty sure this Daedalus Axe right here is a crime against humanity. It is Chimera 5, but doesn't even have gemstone slots unlocked. I will fix that later, because I need to spend a lot of money. Anyways, we're gonna start out with some magic find equipment, actually. Uh, the current equipment set that I'm using is actually, well, of course, a Rift Necklace, because, I mean, why would you not use that? That is quite literally seven magic finds. And then just some MPMR stuff. Uh, but I think we're gonna go get some uh, very, very good equipment. Okay, so I did a bit of research. And by research, I mean profile viewering death streaks. Anyways, we need, uh, full molten equipment. Because MFET is mostly used for slayers and ghosts. Uh, yeah, we don't need any of that random implosion belt gawk stuff. Uh, so let's buy some. I'm assuming this is gonna be stupidly expensive, and I'm going to hate myself. But, uh, let's see here. So we don't actually need the molten necklace, because, well, rift necklace, I, this thing's insane. Uh, but but we do need Molten Cloak, Molten Bracelet, and Molten Belts. I think we'll start out with the Molten Belt since that'll probably be the cheapest. It's gonna set this to Magic Find, and well, let's see what the damage to the bank's gonna be. Considering how far I'm scrolling, I'm not liking this. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be around 50 mil from what I'm looking at right now. Oh boy. Oh! Oh! Oh no! It's worse than I thought. It's so much worse. But screw it. Screw it. Screw it. Okay, I have it. I have it. I have it now. I have it now. I did it. I did it. I did it. So I'm assuming all the other stuff is gonna be irreparable if that's 100 bill. Alright, Molten Bracelet. What's this gonna be? I feel like that's a little bit over the top. I is it supposed to be that much? I mean, this is the only one in the AH. I, uh, I, I, I feel like that's a bit much. Okay, before that, I'm gonna buy- I'm, I'm gonna try to check out the Molten Cloak, see if that's also really stupid. Because if this is also really stupid, then it might not be inflated, which- Oh no. Okay. Yeah, no, I think the other piece is a bit inflated, unfortunately. I am I am in a dilemma. So that's 105 for 2 2, 110 for 3 3, 126 for 5 4. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go for the 5 4 1 for 126. That seems worth it. Okay, 2 of 3, 2 of 3. Yeah, this price just seems a little bit dumb. I don't I don't know if it's supposed to be that much. I'm gonna go look on SBZ though. So yeah, I just talked to my local Kutra Sweat, and yeah, it seems to be inflated, unfortunately. I will try to see if I can find one for a reasonable price, but I may have to go with a different one until prices uninflate. So yeah, after a decent amount of looking around, unfortunately I won't be able to get MF out in the bracelet. It looks like it's just that one for sale. So like, unless I want to buy like a super maxed out one and hunt around for a while, which I don't, I would have to overpay by about, uh, you know, 120 mil for it, which I don't want to do. So I'll just wait for more to get listed. Until then, we will buy a temporary version. Probably Dom Magic Find 
that seems like it'd be pretty good. Okay, yeah, honestly, 25 mil for Dom5 MF4, that is not bad. We're just gonna go ahead and snag that. And, well, I think it's time we do a little bit of maxing out. So I've got some shards over here from when I used to do Kudra, and it looks like none of them apply to this set. Great. Okay. Well, I guess to the AH I will go. I uh, can start with the Molten Belt, I suppose. Uh, let's see if any of these are, like, fairly cheap in the Magic Find department. I'm assuming no, uh, but one can hope. Now, to be fair, I think these are actually cheaper than buying shards. Okay, yeah. No, I'm gonna pick up these two right here. I can't use them quite yet, but I'm just gonna pick these up because they're pretty cheap. I'm pretty sure MF4 shards are, like, 10 mil, 15 mil. So that's a pretty good deal right there. And then I guess we need to grab a Magic Find 3 shard, which there are no Magic Find 3 shards. Oh. Yeah, there quite literally are just no Magic Find 3 shards. Okay, well, I guess I gotta go hunting around for one. So, yeah, no, there's just no Magic Find shards anywhere, ever. I, I don't know why, but, you know, we're just gonna search Magic Find in here, and I think I would have scammed myself and buy a level 3 for 8 mil. Oh, somebody bought the Magic Find 3 for 8 mil. Okay, well, I'm scamming myself even more. Love to see it. Okay, yeah, no, I'm, I'm having fun. Anyway, slash attribute menu, and we will be getting Magic Find 4, which we can immediately upgrade into Magic Find 5. And apparently Magic Find 4 shards are about 15 mil, so I will be open to buying any Magic Find 4 that is under 15 mil, like this one. Alright, so now we're going to be getting Magic Find 6 on the Molten Belt. Okay, and then we got another Magic Find 4 here, which we'll go ahead and snag. Then also a Magic Find 4 for 17 mil, which, uh, it's a little bit overpriced, but I'll snag that too. So, yeah, I'm chatting with the uh, Future 77 right now, and I think I'm just going to buy some Magic Find 4 shards off of him, because uh, apparently it just never stops running Kudra or something. I don't know, he's got some of them. I'm going to buy them. Also, Future, since I know you're probably going to watch this video, get your level up. I'm sorry, your level is 261. That's not okay. So, I, I need these pieces, both of them, to be put on Magic Find whatever it is. I don't know, he's accepting it, so I, I, we don't really need collat or anything. Okay, so yeah, I was offering him 27.7 mil, because funny, future 77. Uh, but yeah, no, he just wants 25 mil, which, honestly, that is very doable. Uh, but now that I have both of these, I can now, you know, make this uh, Magic Find 7. So, slash attribute menu, combine both of these, get ourselves a Magic Find 6, and this will now be Magic Find 7. Uh, the veteran I'll worry about later. Uh, this is a Magic Find video after all. And now it's on to the uh, Molten Cloak. Let's see if there's anything that's reasonably priced on here. Okay, so we got a Magic Find 4 for 10 mil that I will just snipe that right up. And we also have another Magic Find 4, which is going to be for 14 mil. I, again, I will absolutely take that. And if we combine both of these together, we get a Magic Find 5, which we can make into a Magic Find 6. And also, again, really good deal here. Magic Find 5 for, well, 15 mil. I'm going to go ahead and take that. And I was gonna buy another Magic Find 5, but that appears to have been sniped. Unfortunate. Uh, but I mean, Magic Find 5 for 17 mil, that's not bad either. Honestly, everything on the Molten Cloak is actually really reasonably priced for some reason. But if we take this, we can make it a Magic Find 6, and now this is gonna be Magic Find 7 as well. And lastly, the Bracelet. Oh, that's kinda interesting. Uh, another Magic Find Veteran was actually listed, which is, well, still overinflated, but I mean, at least people are listing them. And here we have a Magic Find 4 for 11 mil. I will absolutely take that. Which we will combine these, and that'll get Magic Find 5. And then I'm going to be buying a, uh, well, a another two of these from Future, and hopefully she should be able to make that uh, Magic Find 6. And I suppose another 25 million coins are in order, and there we go. Now, this one, I actually am going to stop at Magic Find 6 because, well, it is a, a temporary piece, and I want to replace it with, uh, well, Magic Find Veteran later. Uh, so I want to see with this how much Magic Find I'm getting now. My ultimate goal is to break 300 Magic Find, so... Uh, let's just see. I know I'm stacking up a little bit of Grandma Wolf, but oh, oh, okay, okay. Wait, wait, that's 300 magic find. Hold on. Let me try to get one without a kill combo, though. Okay, I'm actually really close. Uh, 294. I, I mean, I'm not sure what else I can do without, like, breaking the bank. I mean, I guess I could get MF7 on the temporary piece, but uh, I don't know. Wait, guys, great idea, great idea, great idea right here. Hold on. You know what I should do? Buy a second golden dragon with a Minos relic on it. Yeah, this is a great idea. Uh, yeah, no, we're, we're not doing that. That's, that's just insane. Okay, you know what? Uh, we don't need 300 magic find for the time being. Uh, let's switch gears a little bit. And I want to get, well, uh, I, I want to get some crimson. I really, really want to get god roll crimson. Uh, so let's see here. Magic find and veteran. What would the damage to the bank be? Ah, that's a lot. You know what? I'm gonna sleep on it. We'll come back to this tomorrow. Wait, wait, hold on. I actually, uh, so I, I forgot to put stuff on this. It, yeah, hold on. Slash hex. And then I suppose we're gonna put strengthened on this, uh, as well 
as a little bit of a recom. Same thing here. And with this one, we're actually going to put the uh, Blood Soaked Reforge on this, which I've heard is really, really good, as well as a, well, another recom. Cool, now it looks all nice and fancy. And I've actually dropped below a one bill purse. That's exciting. Okay, now I actually sleep on it. So I've done a little bit of sleepy bye-bye. I'm never going to say that again. Anyway, auction house. So I figure we might as well check the molten bracelet, see if any more of those got listed. If so, then I'm probably going to buy one. So scroll all the way over here and, oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, they're still really, really inflated. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. So I still have a total of one billion coins to spend and, well, I've decided to veto the idea of getting Magic Find Crimson, which, number one, less Magic Find than Sorrow, which would kind of defeat the point of this video. Number two, I want to get that Crimson in a, well, another video. I'm going to get it, just not now. Uh, but that still leaves. I have a billion coins. I, I don't know how to spend them. And, like, I want to spend it on Magic Find. Like, I don't really want to go and actually make this day axe not a crime against humanity because I, I want to invest it all in magic fine you know i can invest it all into actually doing damage later but uh, i just don't know uh, well, i guess i could get all this to magic fine eight maybe yeah you know what let's just do that let's just waste some money who cares that this dom mf1 is well a temporary piece it's fine so i guess we'll start out with the molten bracelet and we'll get this maxed out yeah here we go magic fine four for 12 mil i will always take that and again for 13 mil we'll love to see it and then we'll also grab a Magic Find 5, and I think that's all the ones that I really want to buy off the AH. I think the rest of them I'll probably buy in shards, because this is getting a little bit expensive. Uh, but there we go. It is now Magic Find 7. So I put out a post on Kuger Gang, uh, just looking for MF4 shards. I also know some people with a couple once they get on. Until then, I'm just going to keep buying stuff off the AH. I guess I'll start with the Molten Belt, see if we can get this to MF8 for a reasonable price just off the AH. And it looks like, no, we will not, since, uh, well, there were two pieces that were fairly reasonable. Uh, the rest of them are kind of like this, which is not great. You know, until I can get some people selling shards, I'm actually just going to level up the veteran on these pieces. I mean, might as well. I need to level up the veteran anyway. Okay, so I found somebody, and I'm just going to have them put some shards on these two pieces right here, and then I'm going to combine them later. So then it's going to be 2.5 mil per, which is funny. All right, now we just let him work the magic, and I could have sworn that MF4 shards were higher, but I don't know. He's only charging me 2.5 mil for it, so I mean, I will take it. I don't think this is a scam or anything considering i mean i got collab anyways we give him his items back and there we go magic find six and magic find five we are all good okay and now this guy's charging me 7.5 mil per and i'm just very confuzzled but that should be 15 mil or well hold on okay so yeah no turns out i'm just stupid he gives me 15 mil i get built and then i get 15 mil payment yes and there we go hopefully this gets leveled up to six all right trade it back and now we give him 30 mil back uh 15 mil being the collat and 15 mil being the payment and there we go we now have magic find six. So now if we slash attribute menu, we can go ahead and combine both of these. We get a magic find seven, put this in here, and there we go. Magic find level eight. And honestly, I think this one right here, I'm just going to buy stuff off the AH. I would rather overpay than go buy shards. Uh, it's so annoying. Okay, anyway, I found somebody to sell shards, and hopefully we can get glad for this because this one is actually kind of expensive. I'm, I'm saying about 160 mil clat for it since, well, this guy's actually selling one very similar to this. That is, well, about one. 50. It's just not Magic Find 7. Oh, all right, there we go. We got the 160 mil. And they're actually going to be buying shards for 10 mil per. So I'm going to be paying um, 80 mil in total in order to get this up to Magic Find 8. And shard prices are really weird. I've paid up to 12.5 mil. I've paid up to 15 mil. I've paid 2.5 mil. It's really odd. All right, trade request. So let me put the, uh, let's see here, 160 mil and also an additional 80 mil on top of that. And there we go. 240 mil going back for Magic Find 8. And there we go. And then we do a little bit of a thank you. And uh, yeah, no, that is a second one for tier eight. Okay, anyway, I have made an executive decision. I know this is a really bad idea, but this piece just looks so bad. It's Dom Magic Vine. It's not God Roll. It just doesn't look good. There's a piece right here for 192 mil Magic Vine Veteran. And it's it's so hot. It's just so hot. It would look so good. Eh, but thing is, this is overinflated by about 60 mil right now, meaning I'm going to overpay 60 mil. I don't care. I just bought it. I, I don't care. I just scammed myself out of 60 mil. 
but I need content, and I need this all to be god roll. It, it just needs to be god roll. Ignore the fact that this is a magic mind video. It, it, it god roll. I, I need the god roll. Uh, well, now I just need to get this piece all the way up to magic mind 7 so that I can combine it with this one. Oh boy. Anyway, so it turns out that if I get this up to magic mind 5, I should be able to get it up to magic mind 7 with only 4 shards, which I'll be buying from Manuel. So it looks like lowest spend magic mind 4 is going to be 15 million coins. Mild scam, but I will take it. So if we take this and we just combine that, we get magic mind 5. Veteran 5. So yeah, I'm gonna buy 4 shards from Manuel for 10 mil per. So that's gonna be 40 mil. I don't need Kalat. It's Manuel. And now we just wait for all the combining to happen. Oh, and it appears I have been scammed. Manuel is running away. Oh, and Manuel is gone. Manuli left. Oh, wait, I wasn't recording that. Wait, I'm sorry, your computer turned off? Did your computer actually turn off? Very nice. And now if I slash attribute menu, I should be able to do the funny thing and... Oh, wait, no, does that... Hold on. No, I'm just saying, does it get rid of all the enchants? Oh, it gets rid of all the enchants and stuff I put on it. Oh, that's kind of annoying. That's just minus 12 mil. So I, I don't know. We can go ahead and do it. We get magic find eight veteran five. All right. And then if we go back into here again, we can go ahead and reforge it, put it on strengthened and well out oh, and eight mil for a recom. But oh, it's so nice. I have full god roll now. Okay. Anyway, at this point, I just need to max out my veteran a little bit because well, this looks a little bit stinky. Uh, so give me a second. Anyways, I have done a little bit of combining and I now have MF8 vet seven on every single one of the pieces. Uh, so now it's time to do a little bit of testing. How much magic find am I actually going to be getting? Just holding my Daedalus axe. We come over here and hopefully it's going to be inching up on 300. So I'm up to six extra magic find from the grandma wolf which uh not great okay so if i subtract that six magic find i'm getting 299 magic find with this setup that's kind of a slap to the face but it, it's fine it's basically 300 after this i wanted to test out my magic find a little bit and i decided well you know it's uh, it's diana right now why not stream some diana so that's what i did i streamed diana all right is the go live button go living yes the go live button did go live and i got absolutely nothing from that stream so you know i was gonna like edit it up you know include some funny moments maybe make a montage, but this video is already long enough, and I'm lazy, so sucks to suck, I guess. But yeah, no, it was a really unproductive stream. Anyway, I've got a little bit more money to spend, and I am struggling with what to spend it on. So I figured, might as well max out my day axe a little bit more. Because I got, it is a war crime what this day axe looks like. Also, after a couple people saw my day axe and called me stupid, I have realized something. I don't actually have it maxed out for magic find. There's four enchantments, not three. I, I need luck seven. I, yeah, it is technically more magic find ish for armor, specifically. Yeah, no, we're just gonna chuck this bad boy in the hex, and and let's go fix up these enchantments. There are a couple enchantments that I'm like considering getting just because I can make it look more rainbow. But I mean, starting out, we need to go ahead and get ourselves a Lux 7, which it says there's not enough supply in the bazaar. There's enough supply in the bazaar. I'm gonna have to buy it manually. Uh, T7s are weird. All right, Lux 7. We buy that for 30 million coins. Not too bad. And I'm just gonna go ahead and combine that. And then I guess before we do more enchants, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, first of all, I'm gonna play an Art of War because, well, we can have all of this maxed out and it looks all nice and hot like that and i think withered is the best reforge pretty sure or at least i think it's the best reforge if you have a good cattle level so i'll keep that on there and then also probably one of the biggest things that people are gonna yell at me about is uh, that it's chimera 5 but has no gemstone slots so i'm just gonna go ahead and unlock both of those and because people will also probably say it's Chimera 5, but you went with, uh, oh no, I have Flawless Jaspers. I I'm gonna go with Perfects because, uh, you know, we rich out here. We we cannot be taking the poor man's way out. We gotta have those double Perfects. I also just realized I just spent 80 mil on Jasper, which, ow. And now I guess we just go down the enchantments list and buy anything that's kind of cheap. Tabasco's only 10 mil. I will go ahead and get that. That is a rainbow enchant. Scavenger 5 is also really cheap, but I need to buy that one off the bazaar. Yeah, 16 mil. Sure, that is really, really free. And then we could also get Cleave 6. Uh, Cleave isn't bugged anymore, so I would not mind putting that on there. Not that it's actually that useful, just that it's another rainbow enchant. And there we go. And then I'm also gonna put Dragon Hunter on there. No real use other than, well, it's, a, it's another rainbow enchant. And we're also gonna get Execute 6, which very, very nice. And Thunderlord 7 is insanely cheap. And look at that, 14 mil for a rainbow enchant? Uh, yes, please. And there we go. And then I think that's everything that I'm gonna put on there. I mean, this is, uh, it's a much better day axe now. We'll say that. And my goodness, wait, I just 
just realized it's giving me 72 magic vine now. Why? It was giving me 51 earlier. Uh, hold on. Okay, I need to test this. Oh, wait, no, maybe it's because of the lucky clover. Wait, does the lucky clover get amplified too? Wait, if it does, that might actually be insane. Yeah, dude, okay. I just got 311% magic vine. That, what? Uh, okay, that's a little bit of magic vine. Uh, yeah, and with a little bit of grandma wolf help, I'm getting 320 magic vines. Uh, this is a little busted. So I still have a little bit more money to spend, but... Uh, let's wait a second. I want to do a little bit of testing. On ghosts, actually. I want to see how stupid this gets. Okay, I'm here in the mines, I'm wearing full sorrow, and I just want to see. Can I one-tap ghosts? I would assume, absolutely no, not in a million years. I will probably need a crimson piece and maybe even a warden helmet. But, let's see. I do no damage. Yeah, okay, hold on. Let me, let me swap out some pieces. So I guess we'll use the crimson chest plate, see how that works out. And we're doing 435,000. Ooh, okay, so if I get 10 Dominus stacks, let's see. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not gonna be able to get 10 Dominus stacks. I'm actually gonna need to wear a second piece of Crimson, because, uh, well, I am just not keeping the stacks long enough in order to actually stack them up. So here we go, 7 stacks, 8, 9, and 10 stacks. So now, let's see here. Can I one-tap? It would appear no. So I'm doing... Oh! Oh, I can one-tap. I can one-tap with Fire Aspect. Wait, what? Okay, it's a little bit scuffed, but I mean, I can do it. If I had better crimson, I would definitely be able to one-tap better. But dude, I can one-tap with fire aspect. Yo! So yeah, no, half sorrow? And I can... I can, I, I can grind ghosts with a Daedalus Axe. Okay, well that is some information. I may have a new money-making method. Okay, just, yeah, no, give me a second to get my kill combo up and get some drops. Yeah, nope, there we go. Volta, 322% magic find. Uh, okay, yeah, no, this is uh, going pretty hard. Yeah, no, just don't mind me. I'm just gonna be here for a little while. Oh, hey, it's the next day. I slept more. Yeah, I didn't really sleep that much. Anyway, I, I have a sorrow set here that I just realized is uh, missing some magic find potential. I mean, it's renowned and recommed, but uh, only uh, only one of the pieces of Legion 5, and we, we kind of need to fix that. It's uh, it's very nasty. And what's even more annoying is because I'm stingy, I'm going to buy a bunch of Legion 1 because, well, they already all have Legion 1 on it, and I don't want to waste money. Anyways, I guess just, uh, yeah, fill up my inventory, and I guess uh, montage time. And now all of it has beautiful Legion 5, meaning that we should get, well, a tiny bit extra magic find. Yeah, this is all worth it. Yeah. So if I go to Hub 1 with, like, all my everything on, and... Oh, did not warp you. Maybe Hub 2? All right, cool. Okay, Hub 2. And if we check my stats right here, I am getting... <laughs> <laughs> what? 350 magic find? Okay. Like, I, I know Legion goes hard, but like, I, di I didn't know it went that hard. So now, as a finale, I think it's time we do a little bit of a test of magic find. An official one this time. Recently, I've been grinding to spend 9, and I figured, why not do just a, well, one hour test on some spins? And see how much drops, RNG, whatever I can get. Unfortunately, I will have to use this set, though. Uh, but it's fine. It's, uh, magic find veteran 7. Don't ask me why I have MF at 7. Aurora. We're gonna use this over sorrow because RCM. Yes. Uh, so the hour is up. I didn't drop much. Yeah, quite literally, it was eight fur balls, 49 hamster wheels, a wolf talisman, and three critical sixes, and some random spirit runes thrown in there as well. I'm beginning to regret my decisions. Hey, congratulations for making it to the end of the video. Yeah, base camp. Ooh. Anyway, my room's a mess. I'm a mess, but outro thing. Yes. Anyway, I spent a lot of money on Magic Find. I regret it a little bit. So, you know, why not subscribe? Do all the thing. Yes, you know, and get, get me to 20k so I can give away a bunch more money and regret my decisions even more. Oh, yeah. Uh, I also have a guild. You should join it. The recs are in the description. Very fun. I'm not desperate at all. Anyway, that's it. I love you. Bye.